In this video, we're going to go through the basics of obtaining a patient history. There's the history of present illness, along with vitals, past medical history, and so on. Let's look at the HPI. Students often use acronyms. There's also the H and HPI tool that you can use. When using the acronyms to take a patient history, the acronyms are often inflexible and can't be used in all scenarios. Using these acronyms can lead to incomplete info. Trying to shoehorn the information into these mnemonics can actually make the encounter longer and more confusing. It can also lead to decreased flow in the interview. So let's not use this. Instead, let's use the H and HPI tool to go through the basics of obtaining a patient history. So in the logo, we have a timeline. It's a modified timeline that we're going to use to take our notes and obtain the HPI. We're going to write our notes directly on this modified timeline. We have the onset and the present time. Under the present time, I put the exact time and date. The onset can be minutes, hours, days, weeks, or even months. Then looking at that line, we have what happened before the onset. So think, what do we want to ask before the onset? What could have been a provocation? Was the patient near a sick contact? Did the patient eat something? And then we have after the onset. Did the patient try any treatments? Did anything make the patient feel better or make it worse? We have duration. And I like thinking the thickness of the line is the duration. This is pretty basic information. With this information, we've obtained a good story, but we're going to want to investigate more. We want to know the severity, as well as the character, description, and location. So in addition to all this, again, we're just going through the basics of obtaining a history. We have an onset of some chief complaint. But what if that chief complaint is still going on today? Well, we're going to want to ask more questions. And so we're going to want to ask questions that relate to today. Did the location change? Did the severity change? Before and after? Let's add a little more complexity. These are the pertinent positives and negatives. And then we have the rest of the patient history. I like to tell students that with the pertinent positives and negatives that are in the HPI, that includes anything in the review of systems that's pertinent to the chief complaint. Also, anything in the past medical history and so on that is pertinent to the chief complaint. But there's a caveat to this, because this is kind of stylistic. So always listen to your supervisor and how your school teaches it. Abdominal pain template. Are there any questions you're going to want to ask? What information are you going to want to know? Was this the information you were thinking of? And then we have the rest of our patient history. Cough template. What are the questions you're going to want to ask? Is there any information you want to know? Was this the information? And these are the basics of obtaining a patient history. Let's look at this cough template a little more carefully. What if the patient had a cough before? Well, we can extend the timeline. And of course, if they had a cough before, we're going to want to know more information. So now you can see how this really helps out with temporal relationships, which are very important. Looking at the modified timeline again, let's take a look at some notes. So these were the notes we took for an encounter. And then I write my chief complaint at the top. This is a really organized way to have notes. What's important about this is we can use these notes to present our patient. I also want to point out that we added three more questions on the far right in blue. Again, adding a little more complexity to the basics of obtaining a patient history. So we use this H and HPI tool to help us obtain a patient history. Let's go through some of the benefits of using this H and HPI tool. This tool is extensible. It's also a systematic approach. We can see temporal relationships. It's efficient. It's an organized way to take notes. It's a structured approach. It's holistic. We can use this approach to present the patient directly. We don't have to rewrite our notes. It also helps us write our patient note. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please share it with your classmates. As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments.